Hey everybody, Crow back again with another vlog video. This time I want to talk about the NES Classic, um, what I've done with it. I, I had it hacked earlier this year using Hakchi, but it was an older version. And after I uh, had hacked the SNES Classic with the newer version of Hakchi, it had new features and everything, I decided I would rehack the NES Classic. Uh, but before I continue, what you're looking at the screen here is actually the SNES Classic. And I kind of want to just some tie up some loose ends uh, that, uh, look at this, it goes into the demo mode again. <laughs> I wanted to tie up some loose ends uh, regarding uh, what was in that video. First of all, I want to thank everybody. Uh, that video, uh, a lot more people were interested in that video than I thought. And I actually got a lot of good comments, a lot of good recommendations of games to put on uh, this, the SNES Classic. So I actually, through all the comments, there were a couple games that uh, people recommended that I, I checked out, and I wanted to put in five more games on here. But more to the point, uh, you might notice that I have folders now, whereas previously I had all the games just on the home screen. And seeing as how it was like about 120 uh, some odd games, I didn't think it would make that big a dif of a difference. Uh, you know, we'll just scroll from side to side. Uh, but what was happening was... Uh, every time I would shut down the SNES Classic, I would get an error, like a CA error. I wasn't sure what was really causing it, uh, but it really didn't make a difference to me because you know, it wasn't affecting anything other than me shutting down the system, and I would just unplug it and whatever. Well, I finally looked into it, and it turned out the reason I was getting that error was because I had so many uh, games in one directory, namely the root direct directory. So I've gone ahead and I... I um, kind of made these folders here to separate them out more evenly so when you go into like this folder 8f for example you will see um like you you know i i, I separate them out to the point to where yeah you could see all the games it, you know thumbnails at the bottom and i could take out the thumbnails but i kind of like the thumbnails kind of you know kind of orientate yourself to where you are in there so as you can see i have a through f I, I, these are all custom folders i kind of even about myself it's very easy with the uh hakchi 2.21 uh to uh do the folders at least uh so there's a through f g through o p through s and then i have a folder entirely for super you games that start with super because super nintendo had so many games that started with super i think there's like 27 games in this folder anyway uh just wanted to point that out uh kind of um coming off of the last video but let's get to the N the what the purpose of this video was the nes classic so let me get that up on the screen all right so here we are we have the uh nes classic booted up and when i originally uh hacked this thing so to speak with uh hakchi i was using 2.15 i believe it was and um when I and I was kind of unfamiliar with the program, I kind of just hacked it once and kind of messed around with the games or whatnot. I had them all in, um, I did the folders by name, so there was like one letter for each folder. Now, the problem with doing that, that is maybe there were like four games that started with Q, so you'd go into that folder and there'd only be four games in that folder. But like if you went into S, there'd be tons of games and it would automatically split it into subfolders. So then you'd have to, you'd click on S and then you'd have to click on another subfolder and before you could actually get to the games. Uh, that's because the older version of Hakchi that I was using didn't allow you to use custom folders. So that was one of the things I did here. I used custom folders and I kept, um, now the one thing I may not have noticed or it may be something in the newer version of Hakchi because there was actually a newer version of Hakchi that came out uh, since I uh, hacked the SNES Classic, and that was like 2.21D or something. I think it's just such a minor upgrade that it's not worth messing around unless until there's a newer version with the Super Nintendo Classic. But um, actually rehacking the NES Classic wound up to, not to be too much of a trouble. Now, I saw uh, like people doing it different ways. They were like saving their old folder, you know, opening up a new folder with the new version, kind of opening that up and kind of redoing everything from there. I didn't think that was the right way to do it, especially since I kept hearing, oh, there was errors here and errors here and errors, in, and errors there. But I figured out the best way to do it, at least from my point of view, was I make a backup of the folder and I actually make a new folder with the new version of Hakchi. So I have basically three three folders. One folder with the uh, the new the 
the old version, one folder with the new version, and one folder with the current version that I'm currently using. And I would take the files from the new version and just copy it over the um, the current version I'm using. And I, I don't mean this to be a how-to video. I'm just kind of explaining how I did it. This definitely is not a how-to video. I'm not going to go step-by-step step how to do this. Uh, there are plenty of other videos that can explain that. And if you're familiar with Hakchi at all, you know what I was talking about anyway. Any, so um, so then what you would do is open up the new version of Hakchi. All your games that you already had would, would be there. And the first thing you'd have to do is flash the original ROM back, or flash the original kernel back to the system, and then right after that, flash the custom kernel again. I found that doing it that way produces practically no errors at all. I don't think I got an error at all. Because if you go to try and just flash the custom version uh, right again, on top of the old custom version, I wound up getting a warning, and I didn't like that. So uh, I don't know if I would have proceeded, if there would have been any issues or not, uh, but I just backed out. It's like, let me flash the original first, the original kernel, and then flash the new kernel on top of this. Now, a lot, uh, one of the questions I was getting on the old video was, oh, how hard is it to undo what you've done? It's actually very easy at all. It's, I mean, it is very easy. Not very easy. That doesn't make any sense. It's very easy because all you got to do is flash the original kernel and just click on, like, or take out everything that you've added just make sure you have the first box clicked on there, which is like the original 30 games and the SNES Classic. Uh, it's like the original 21 games. And then just synchronize it and you're bam, you're back to stock. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's worthwhile knowing if you want to, you may possibly sell this in the future as a stock unit. Maybe, you know, somebody doesn't want a, a custom version. They want the stock version. You could do that. You could undo everything you do. I will kind of, um, now the other thing I've done with the NES Classic that I didn't do with the SNES Classic is I installed RetroArch on the NES Classic, but only for the NES games that wouldn't work with the original emulator on here. Uh, I could do that with the Super Nintendo uh, Classic as well, but seeing as how you're very limited on games, I decided not to do that um, with the SNES Classic because of space. But with the NES Classic, it's almost like the sky's the limit. I think I have about, or exactly, 700 games on here and room for plenty more. And the save states aren't huge, so uh, I got plenty of room for save states too. So I installed RetroArch just to get a couple games installed on here. And I was not as picky with games as I uh, on the NES Classic as I was on the Super Nintendo Classic. So what I'm going to do is kind of just briefly go through all the games. This will be a pretty long video. I can go through 700 games. But I'll probably, I'll try to go through them quicker than I did with the uh, SNES Classic. And kind of point out certain things I had problems with. Uh, one of the other things that I did with the NES Classic that I couldn't do with the, um, before, right, with the older version, um, it was some issue, I think. Oh, you know what it was? It was the folder structure. Uh, because I think it, it could only keep the 30 games in a separate folder uh, from the other games. And to me, that didn't make any sense because, you know, Mega Man 2 is on it, but not any other Mega Mans. So it didn't make sense to keep Mega Man 2 separately from all of the other Mega Man games in a separate folder. So uh, what I had done originally was taken off the original 30 games and installed the ROM, the 30 game ROM separately myself. That way I could rename them and put them wherever I want. Uh, in the newer version that I'm using, uh, the differences between, I guess, 2.515 and 2.21D, uh, as well as the previous version I did for Super Nintendo, was that it let it kind of kept the um, the original games where they go. Uh, now I did have a, a brief problem, and I'll run across that when we get off the when we get uh, to those games with you know that I had problems with. But uh, yeah, let's just start here. Ten Nerd Fight, 1942, 1943, 3D World Runner, uh, 720 Degrees, Eight Eyes, Boy in His Blob, A Nightmare on Elm Street again. I'm not being too picky. <laughs> I can have, there were only a couple of games I took out for being really, really bad, namely the Waldo games. Um, but otherwise, I think that was the limit here. 
Adam's Family, Adam's Family, Pugsley Scavenger Hall. It originally uh, did these Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game under their type. So it was under a D for Dragon Strike, Heroes of the Lands, Pool of Radiance. But I renamed these so they would just be together. Uh, again, I don't ever see myself playing these, but hey, I got room on this. Maybe somebody else wants to play this if they come over uh, and they, hey, I remember that game, let me play it. You know, that's the kind of thing I like to do with the NES Classic. You know, these games aren't necessarily on here for me. Um, even though I am playing this, there are plenty of games on here for me. But what if somebody, you know, I bring this over to somebody's house and they're like, hey, I remember that game, let me pop that in there and try it out. I think that's kind of a cool little thing to do here. Adventure Island, Adventure Island 2, Adventure Island 3, um... Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Um, now, another thing that I'd like to do... Uh, this is a one thing I'm kind of hoping they fix in the future. Is um, games that start with the. You can't have the Adventures of Bayou Billy because then it would sort it as a T. And it would be near the end of this section. And you can't have a sort order. Um, and that's going to be an issue that's going to come up uh, with the 30 games when I get to it. But um, So yeah, I just took out the in the title... Uh, I think it originally in, in Hakchi had put comma the at the end, but I don't think it's necessary to do that, so it kind of eliminated that too. So we have the Adventures of Dino Ricky, Gilligan's Island, uh, Lolo 1, 2, 3, uh, Rad Gravity, Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends, Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and fly through most of these. Again, 700 games, and I'm going to have to remember where I am because every time you go back, it resets to the original one, which is another thing that I, I don't think they can really do anything about that. But <laughs> Air Fortress, Air Wolf, uh, El Unser Jr., uh, Turbo Racing, El DiMeo's Race, Amer Race America, excuse me. Uh, Alfred Chicken, Alien 3, All Pro Basketball, Alpha Mission, Amagon, American Gladiators, Anticipation, Arch Rivals, I like Arch Rivals, Archon, uh, Arkanoid, even without the, uh, the dial, uh, being able to use the dial controller, this is still an okay game, um, Arca Arquista's Ring, I don't think I've ever played that, Steinex, Athena, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, going back and again i tried to get these evenly that's why I like you know number to ad ai to at and then that was the end of uh the a so now we have the b's the ba to ba because there's so many games that start with ba um uh, back to the future back to the future one and two bad dudes bad news baseball bad street brawler balloon fight and again i've taken out any game that requires like a light zapper or power pad so you won't see in those games here uh, Bandai Golf, Bandit Kings of Ancient China, Barbie. Um, it was so close to being on the chopping block, but I just decided to let it in there. Why not? Uh, Bard's Tale, Base Wars, Baseball, Baseball Simulator 1000, Baseball Stars, Baseball Stars 2, Bases Loaded, Bases Loaded 2. I played this one a lot as a kid. Uh, Bases Loaded 3, Bases Loaded 4, Batman, the classic. Batman Returns, Battle Chess. Battle of Olympus, and I'm just going to plug Half Blind Gamer right now for uh, his um, great walkthrough of this game with voice acting, no less. Uh, Battle Tank, Battle Ship, Battle Toads, Battle Toads and Double Dragon, which was actually a game I took off of the Super Nintendo um, Mini because it it seemed to play like crap to me, but this version seems to play a lot better. It was actually a lot more fun to play, so I I, I had to leave it in there. Even if it played like crap, it'd probably still be on here. <laughs> um, BE through BU. We got uh, Beetlejuice, best of the best, karate cha uh, championship karate. Bigfoot, big, in Bill, <laughs> big and Ted's, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Bill Elliott's NASCAR challenge. Uh, Binary Land, amazing uh, Famicom game, uh, highly recommended. Um, Bionic Commando, Black Bass, Blades of Seal, Blaster Master, Blue Marlin, Blues Brothers, Bojackson Baseball, Bomberman, Bomberman 2, Bonk's Adventure, Boulder Dash, uh, Dracula, or Brom Stoker's Dracula, rather, Break Time, Breakthrough, Bubble Bobble. Now, this is another thing. Bubble Bobble was one of the games that was originally on the NES Classic, so this is the original ROM here, stuck in here. That's why, um... I, one of the things that really annoyed me was the inconsistency of how they labeled the games. Like here, Bubble Bobble is on all caps, but they didn't do that with all of the games. So that's why Bubble Bobble's in all caps. It's, I can't change that. And if I wanted to change that, what I would do is actually 
um, disable this ROM and kind of re in reinsert the Bubble Bobble ROM and name it how I wanted to. So it's kind of odd a bit. Uh, and there's Bubble Bobble Part 2, Bucky O'Hare, Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle, Bump and Jump, Your Eye Fire, Burger Time. Going back, I think we're on C's now. Yeah, CA through CH. Um, Cabal, Caesar's Palace, California Games, Capcom's Gold Medal Challenge 92, uh, Captain America and the Avengers, Captain Planet and the Planeteers, Captain Skyhawk, uh, Casino Kid, Casino Kid 2, Castleian, Castle of Dragon, Castle Quest, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Now this um, Castlevania here, I believe, yeah, Castlevania 1 and 2, I think were on the system. And you can see that they're they're named normally. They're proper case. I don't know why Bubble Bobbles on all ca all caps. It's inconsistencies like that that are just really weird. Uh, and then we got uh, two and three Caveman Games Championship Bowling uh, Championship Pool uh, Championship Rally The Chess Master Chippendales Rescue Ranger uh, Chippendales Rescue Rangers Two Chubby Cherub, and then back to the menu again. Uh, CI to CY. Uh, we got Circus Caper. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of Circus Charlie, which was a Famicom only game. Uh, <laughs> City Connection, uh, Clash at Demon Head, Classic Concentration, Cliffhanger, Clue Clue Land, Cobra Command, Cobra Triangle, Codename Viper, uh, Color Dinosaur. I was on the fence. I was like, should I really t leave this in there? This is like, if I was going to, if somebody said, hey, you have to remove one game off this thing, I'd be like, Color Dinosaur, boom, off. <laughs> There's really no reason for us to be there. But what the hell? Uh, Commando, uh, Conan, Conflict, Conquest of the Crystal Palace, Con uh, Contra, Contra Force. Um, I think Contra was, no, it was Super C that was on here, not Contra. That was, that was a weird thing. Uh, cool World, Cowboy Kid, Crackout, Crash in the Boy Street Challenge, Crystalis, Crystal, uh, Cyberball, and Cybernoid the Fighting Machine. Moving on, next, um, I believe we're on D's. Move, okay, here we go. Sometimes it just seems like, oh, does it take forever to get through these menus? Again, the system was designed for this. Uh, Danny, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat, Darkman, Darkwing Duck. Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum, Daydreaming Davy, Days of Thunder, Defender 2, Defender of the Crown, uh, Defenders of Dinotron City, Demon Sword, Desert Commander, Destination Earth Star, Destiny of an Empire, Devil World. Oh, that, that's a game that has to be on here. <laughs> uh, Dick Tracy, Die Hard, Dig Dug 2, Trouble in Paradise, uh, Digger T Rock, Dirty Harry, Deja Vu, and moving on. Um, next section here is yeah, D-O through D-Y. And we've got Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong Jr. Math. I think Donkey Kong uh, was on here. I think Donkey Kong Jr. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, <laughs> uh, Door Door, which is actually a really clever puzzle-type action game, I guess. Uh, Double Dare, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. And you see, they did, it's so inconsistency, it's even in the same title. Double Dragon, in caps, The Revenge, in proper case. Why did they do that? Uh, <laughs> Double Dragon 3, The Sacred Stones. But as long as it stayed in the middle of where it belonged, I didn't feel the need to really do anything about it. Uh, Double Dribble, Dr. Chaos, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Dr. Mario. Again, why... Mario in all caps, but Doctor in proper case. Uh, I, it's just mind blowing to me. Uh, Dragon Fighter, uh, Dragon Spirit, Dragon Warrior, Dragon Warrior Two, Dragon Warrior Three, Dragon Warrior Four, Dragon's Lair, Drop Zone, Ducktales, Ducktales Two, Dungeon uh, Dungeon Magic, <laughs> Dusty Diamonds, All Star Softball, Dynamite Bowl. Only reason this is really on here is because it's a game I have. Um, Dino Wars, back to E, I guess. And I know we have E. Oh, here we go. This is E... F U. <laughs> so this is E's and F's. Earthbound Zero, or just regular Earthbound, or Mother. Uh, the uh, US... The, this is, I think, the prototype um, 
you know, the fully translated version. I actually, you know, I used to have a, a homebrew cartridge of this, and I think I sold it to my friend. Uh, I did play it through all the way. So, uh, you know, we got Elevator Action, Eliminator Bolt Duel, Excite Bike, Xerion, F117A Stealth Fighter, F1 Circus, F1 Race, Family Feud, uh, Family Pinball, which is actually the uh, Japanese version of Rock and Ball, uh, which is also on here. But Family Pinball is worth having because uh, this was a Namco game and there's a Pac Man in it, and there's a Pac Man related table. But um, when the game came out here as Rock and Ball, uh, it wasn't published by Namco, and they got rid of all the Pac-Man stuff. So kind of odd. Um, Fantasy Zone, Faria. In fact, this is Faza uh, Fazanadu. That's how you pronounce that. Um, Felix the Cat, uh, Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge, Fester's Quest, Final Fantasy. Now that was on there. But I had fan translated versions of uh, Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3. Uh, this one took me a while to get a version of it that worked on here, even with Retro Arc. Now, uh, it's a good thing I'm remembering this, but because I remember even with Retro Arc installed, this doesn't work and that doesn't work unless you specifically tell it in um, when you're in, in uh, Hakchi. There's an, a line there that says, oh, this is for advanced users, and it's a bunch of uh, string commands or whatever. You have to add a specific command, which I don't remember offhand. I'd have to actually look it up, and you can look it up too if you're curious. But you have to add, uh, you have to add a specific command to tell it to uh, boot from RetroArch. Because the way this works is if... Uh, with RetroArch installed, I only did the one uh, the one that works with the NES um, core or whatever. Um, if the game doesn't boot, then the system will automatically try and boot it with RetroArch, just automatically. But without the with if it does sort of work and there's sort of glitches or whatever, it still runs with glitches. And the only way to get it to run with RetroArch is to actually put in that command and say, "Hey, only boot this with RetroArch." So I, I decided to throw these in there. It was a bit of effort to get these on here, specifically Final Fantasy II, to find a version that was okay and tolerable. So <laughs> I just did that just because, you know, I was like, hey, why not? Let's work at it. We got the space. Um, then we got Fire Emblem here. Um, Fire and Ice, Fist of the North Star, Flight of the Tr Intruder, and then the two Flintstones games. And Flip Pool, which is actually a pretty interesting game. Uh, Flying Dragon, The Secret Skull, uh, Flying Warriors, Formula One Sensation, Formula One Built to Win, Frankenstein, Friday the 13th, Funhouse, and going back to... I'm kind of tempted to anything that ends, just say uh, FZ, you know, instead of <laughs> whatever letter it actually is. So um, next time I, I uh, mind up plugging this in and hacking something... I might go ahead and just kind of change the names of these, so it's like FZ, so... <laughs> um, it doesn't say FU. G.I. <laughs> Joe, G.I. Joe the Atlantis Factor, Galaga, Galaxian, uh, Galaxy 5000, Gargoyles Quest 2, Gauntlet 2, Gymos, uh, Gemfire, Genghis Khan, George Foreman's KO Boxing, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Ghost and Goblins, and this is a big reminder that, hey, Ghost and Goblins was included on the system. It's in all caps and has TM after the name. <laughs> uh, Ghoul School, Goal, Godzilla 2, Godzilla. I, I would try and get these. I See, it's a thing. Godzilla should be before Godzilla 2, but because this game has a subtitle, it just automatically comes after Godzilla 2. I can't rearrange these, and I wish I could. Uh, golf, Golf Grand Slam, Go Go 13. Um, this is the Moffat Conspiracy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Now, the game is really just the Moffat Conspiracy, but it is a Go Go 13 game. So I threw in Go Go 13 on the title. I think, in fact, the Famicom version might have done that, um, labeled it as Go Go 13, uh, just so that these two games were together. Uh, top secret episode uh, the Goonies and then the Goonies 2. We never got the Goonies, but we got the Goonies 2 it labeled as the Goonies 2 and it always kind of confused people I guess in a way because uh, If you think about it from my point of view It's like oh the Goonies was a movie and the Goonies 2 is a video game without realizing that hey They did make a game of the movie and we never got it <laughs> uh, Gradius again all, all caps. That's a reminder that this is an original game on this uh, system here 
Uh, Greg Norman's Golf Power. Gremlins 2, The New Batch, Guardian Legend, uh, Gorilla War, Gun Neck. <laughs> you know, I'm just noticing. It's like, oh, somebody left this sticker residue. Maybe I'll have to find a new uh, image for this. <laughs> uh, Gun Neck, yeah, that's a must. That reminds me. I think I need to make sure Retro Arc runs this game if I haven't already. Because I think there's some glitching if you don't. Um, but it's still playable either way, I think. Uh, Gunsmoke, Gyrodyne, Gyromite. Now, again, this requires Rob the Robot, but I still have it on here because you can still kind of have fun with it with two people with two controllers. Because the way we, we used to play Gyromite was um, one person would run around as the professor or whatever he is, and the other person would just have the controller and control the, um, the walls or the pipes or whatever they are themselves. And uh, either you try to work together or you, the guy with the pipes would try and kill the professor, try to trick him. It, it was totally unfair, but that's the way we kind of played that without Rob the Robot. Um, <laughs> in a way, it was more fun that way, too. Um, H-A-2-I-V here. Let's see what we got. We got Hammer and Harry, Harlem Globetrotters, Hat Hattress, Harry Heavy Barrel, Heavy Shredding, High Speed... This game would not work without RetroArc. It's one of the reasons I wanted to put RetroArc on here, because High Speed and um, the other one, Pinbot, would not work. So uh, that's one of the games that requires RetroArc. Um, now these games, I can't play any of them, but I'm a big fan of Fist of the North Star, so I had to put in Hokuta no Ten, Hokuta no Ken 2, which is actually the same as the Fist of the North Star we got here. Uh, then three, four, and I don't think I could, you think these are RPGs that I can't even play, <laughs> unless I find a translated version, which I have not. Um, Hollywood Squares, Holy Diver, uh, this is a game that does not work without Retro Arc installed. Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Hook, Hoops, Hudson Hawk, Hunt for Red October, Hydlide, Ice Climbers, Ice Hockey, Akari Warriors, Akari Warriors 2, uh, three, uh, Aiki Aiki Niketsu Hakibu. This is actually one of those um, crash games. If it was, if this had come out here, it would have been called Crash and the Boys Ice Hockey, but it never did. Uh, Image Fight, Immortal, Crash Tusk, well, the Incredible Crash Dummies, um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Infiltrator, Iron Tank, Iron Sword. I kind of want to put this in with Wizards and Warriors. Because it's so odd that Wizards and Warriors has the sub name first. So I might move this to Wizards and Warriors 2 Iron Sword. Just so it could go with the rest of them. Uh, Isolated Warrior, Ivan Iron Man Stewart, Super Off-Road. And moving on. I, 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 yeah. J-A through J-U. We have Jack Nicholas's greatest 18 holes of major championship golf. Uh, yeah, you could actually enter in titles so long that they expand outside of that box. <laughs> I had to alter at least one game for that. Jackal, Jackie Chan's Auction Kung Fu, James Bond Jr., Jaws, Jeopardy, Jeopardy 25th Anniversary, Je Jeopardy Jr. Edition, Jetsons, Cogwell's Caper, Jimmy Connors Tennis, uh, JJ, I think. This game is pretty... Oh, you know what this is? I remember this. This is the sequel to 3D World Runner that we never got. Uh, Joe and Mac. Uh, John Elway's quarterback. Uh, Jordan vs. Bird. One-on-one. -on -one. Journey Silius. Great underrated game. Uh, Joust. Joy Mech Fight. Which is a really odd... Uh, this is uh, Japanese only. One-on-one uh, -on -one fighter with like just hovering sprites. <laughs> really odd. Uh, Jumping Kid. Jurassic Park. All right, moving on. How far are we? Are we, like, halfway done yet? <laughs> no, we're not. Um, K-A through K-U. Kabuki Quantum Fighter, Karate Champ, Karate Kid, Karnoff, Kiss Master, Kickle Cubicle, Kid Icarus, Kid Clown in Nightmare World, uh, Kid Cool in the Quest of the Seven Wonder Herbs. <laughs> Our herbs, huh? Uh, Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja, King's Knight, King's Quest V. Kings of the Beach, Kirby's Adventure. I think this was on the system to begin with. Uh, Kiwi Craze, uh, Clash Ball, Knight Rider, Konami Hyper Soccer, Crazy Creatures. Crazy Creatures will not work without RetroArc. I know that for a fact. Um, Cryon Quest, Krusty's Funhouse, Kung Fu, Kung Fu Heroes. Moving on. Uh, 
And the nice thing about having uh, Retro Arc on here for games that don't work is that they're, you booting them up, you have no idea that it's using Retro Arc instead of the uh, default emulator. <laughs> uh, Lev Emperor, uh, Lala, Leila. I mean, <laughs> Lee Trevino is fighting off. Uh, Legacy was the Legacy of the Wizard, uh, Legend of Kage. I, I like to say Legend of Cage, but I know it's Kage. <laughs> Legend of Prince Valiant, uh, Legend of the Ghost Lion, Legend of Zelda. Okay, now this is Legend of Zelda is on the NES Classic as one of the 30 games. However, this is not the ROM that's included. And the reason for that is because. Like I said, for the games that were built in the system, you can't change the name. And they put it under The Legend of Zelda. So this get automatically gets alphabetized under T instead of L. And that drove me crazy enough to disable it and re-upload uh, the, the ROM myself. Just so I can name it as Legend of Zelda and put it in the L section. Uh, like I said, until I can order these manually myself, uh, I will. I, I, that's the only time I'll put it back on, but... <laughs> I wish I could do that. Legendary Wings, Legend of the Diamonds, Lemmings, Lethal Weapon, Life Force, Little League Baseball Championship Series, Little Mermaid, Little Nemo, Dream Master, Little Ninja Brothers, Little Samson, Load Runner, Lone Ranger, Loops, Low G Man, Lunar Pool, and back. So I think we're on M's now. Alright, here we go. M A M E. We got Mick Kids, Mule, Muscle, Tag Team Match, Mock Rider, Mad Max, Magic Darts, Magic Johnson's Fast Break, Magic of Shahrazad, uh, Magician, Mag Max, Major League Baseball, Maniac Mansion, Mappy Land, Marble Madness, Mario Brothers, Mario's Missing, Mario's Time Machine, Mega Man, Mega Man 2. Oh, yeah, Mega Man 2 is another one where I've... Um, disabled it and re-uploaded it and i don't know why but it, it, if you leave it in here it, it as the rom that it actually comes on the system it's Mega Man 2 in all caps with a registered trademark sy uh, symbol after it and for some reason it orders it all the way at the end that's why i did that so okay because it didn't make sense to have Mega Man 1 3 4 5 6 and then 2 after uh that is the kind of thing that would drive me crazy and that's why i did what I did there. So again, we got all the Mega Man games. Mendo's Palace, Metal Gear, Metal Mech, Metal Storm, Metroid, and back. I think that is the Metroid that came on the system originally. I'm, I'm assuming that Metroid came on the system originally. It'd be weird if it didn't. Alright, we got Michael Andretti, <laughs> Michael Andretti's World GP, Mickey Mouse Capades. I was just making sure that was spelled right. Um... Might and Magic, Secret of the Inner Sanctum, Mighty Bomb Jack, Mighty Final Fight, great game, and would you believe that I actually found this game complete in box at Play and Trade for $5. <laughs> Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, uh, this is the version of Punch-Out that was not on the system, presumably because of the Mike Tyson license, um, but Punch-Out is on here as well. Millipede, Mylan's Secret Castle, Mini Putt, uh, which is funny because I have Mini Putt on my Commodore 64, and apparently, if this is the same game, which I haven't played it enough to really, I think it is pretty much the same game. It was released in Japan only on the NES. Um, Mission Impossible, Mitsumi God Toru. I don't remember why I put that on here. I'd have to play it again to remember. Like, oh, that was really interesting. I left it on there. Monopoly, Monster in My Pocket, Monster Party. Monster Truck Rally, Motor City Patrol, uh, Miss Pac-Man, Muppet Adventures Chaos at the Carnival, uh, Mutant Virus, Ky Crisis in a Computer World, Mystery Quest, and back, and now we're on the ends. Getting to the end. Not the end, but the end. But we are closely getting to the end. We're halfway through there. My goal is to try to make this video under an hour, and I think I'm going to succeed. Uh, Narc! Uh, Neketsu Street Basketball. Again, this is uh, if this had come out in the US, it'd be called Crash and the Boys Street Basketball, something like that. Um, they just stopped the games, bringing the game series over to the US at one point. NES Open Tournament Golf, New Ghostbusters 2. I think this this was released in Europe and in Jap Japan, but never in the US. And this is the Japanese version, I think. Uh, NFL 
Uh, remember when you could just pick, like, a game just called NFL? <laughs> Nowadays, you'd have to have at least three words after that. Uh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing, Nightshade, Ninja Crusader, Ninja Gaiden, and you could tell this was a game that was already on the system because it's in all caps. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, Ninja Gaiden 3, Ninja Kid, Nintendo World Cup, Noah's Ark. I think this was a uh, European only release. I don't know. I don't think this was even released in Japan. I could be wrong about that, though. I'm pretty sure this was only released in Europe. Um, no Bunga's Abyssin. No Bunga's Abyssin 2. North and South. Nuts and Milk. This is kind of a game I wouldn't mind having for the Famicom, uh, like a real physical version of it. Um, but I never see it whenever I go out. Uh, and I'm not going to hunt. You know, half the fun is kind of hunting. I could go on eBay and right now and buy it. But I kind of want to hunt it down eventually. It's not that critical. Orb 3D. Othello. Over Horizon. Overlord. Going back. Didn't seem like there were too many. It was N's and O's, wasn't it? Like I said, try to keep the number of games in the folder down to where you can see them. And not go over. Uh, Pac-Land. Apparently this was a Japanese-only release. Pac-Man. Uh, all caps. Uh, because it was on the system to begin with. Pac-Mania. Palamedes. Palamedes 2. Uh, Panic Restaurant. Paperboy. Paperboy 2. Parodius. Uh, what's funny is I think I have... Oh, this is the European version. There's no U.S. version of this. Uh, for some reason I decided to put the European version on. I think it's because it had uh, English text... And they wouldn't have to deal with the Japanese, so that's why I got the European box art on there. Now, this is Parody World Monster Party. This is... Interesting thing about Monster Party is it was never released in Japan. But there was, like, a prototype of the Jap what the, would be the Japanese release. And it was called Parody World Monster Party. That's why I don't have proper box art for this. Because it never was actually released. So this is actually a really interesting ROM to hunt down and play. Because it is practically monster party but with uh, a, some differences it's actually bloodier <laughs> so i had to have that on there uh perfect bowling i think that's on there because it's a game i own <laughs> peter pan and the pirates now this was originally fox's peter pan and the pirates but i was like just take out foxes just put it under peter pan and the pirates uh phantom fighter pictionary pinball pinball quest pinball like i said when i was on high speed uh, this is very much like High Speed, and like High Speed, this does not run without RetroArch. And it's uh, it's totally worth having on the system, I believe. Uh, Pipe Dream, Pirates, Platoon, Popeye, P.O.W., um, Power Blade, Power Blade 2, Power Punch 2, uh, the pseudo-sequel to um, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, <laughs> where he goes uh, around the universe beating up aliens. Just a crazy plot for a game. Um, Predator, Prince of Persia, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, Pro Wrestling, Punch-Out! featuring Mr. Dream. There's our original Punch-Out! that was originally on the system. Uh, Punisher, Puss in Boots, uh, Puznik, Pyr Pyramid, uh, Cuber, Kicks, Quarth. Um, Quarth, a Japanese-only release. And going back. So I think we've taken care of the cues. Yep. Now we're on R's. RBI Baseball, RBI Baseball 2, RBI Baseball 3, RC Pro Am, RC Pro Am 2. RC Pro Am 2, I think, only works with RetroArch, I believe. Um, no, RC Pro Am, I don't think. I can't remember if this was one of the 30 games already in included. Uh, I'd have to look at the box, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, Racket Attack, Rackets and Rivals. Uh, Rad Racer, Rad Racer 2. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was... I know for certain Rad Racer 2 doesn't work with RetroArch. I might be wrong about RC Pro-Am, actually. <laughs> uh, Raid on Bungling Bay. Um, Rainbow Islands, Rally Bank, Rainbow, Rampage. Now, this is a great game to have on here with save states because the game is just so damn long and there's no save or anything. So I could definitely see myself playing a little bit of this, maybe a couple screens, saving it, coming back to it later. Uh, Rampart, Remote Control, this is, like I think, originally MTV's Remote Control, but hell, I'm not going to look at it for up for, uh, I'm not going to look it up under MTV, I'm going to look it up under Remote Control, Ren and Stimpy uh, show, Buckaroos, oh, I need to get rid of the there, kind of throws me off, uh, so i got to remember next time I hack this, i got to get rid of the in the middle of that title, uh, Renegade, Rescue the NBC Mission, 
Ring King, River City Ransom, that classic River City Ransom. That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing this too. I'm, I, I'm more like when I'm going through and I'm reading them out, I'm more likely to recognize mistakes. I'm actually really surprised that that was the first one I saw. Uh, that, or at least I didn't know about. Uh, Road Fighter. I have this game. It's one of the reasons that's in there. Uh, Road Runner. This one does not work without Retro Arc. I know that for a fact. Uh, Road Blasters. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Robo Warrior, RoboCop, RoboCop 2, RoboCop 3, Rock and Ball. I already went through the whole thing how Rock and Ball and Family Pinball are practically the same game, but Family Pinball has Pac Man in it, and this one doesn't. Um, Rocketeer, Rock and Cats, Rodland, Roger Clemens MVP Baseball, Rollerball, Rollerblade Racer, Roller Games, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, and 2, Round Ball, 2 on 2 Challenge, uh, Russian Attack, Rygar. Moving on. We're getting to the S's. Let's go the other way. <laughs> S-A through S-P. Scat. Section Z. Cycross. Shadow of the Ninja. Shadow Gate. Shatter Hand. Uh, Shingen the Ruler. Uh, Side Pocket. Silent Service. Silkworm. Silver Surfer. Simpsons Bart vs. the Space World. <laughs> The Space World. The Space Mutants. Simpsons Bart vs. the World. Bartman Radioactive Man. Or this is actually Simpsons Bartman meets Radioactive Man. I don't know if it actually is supposed to start with Simpsons. If it's just Bartman vs. Radioactive Man. But since it is a Simpsons game, I just titled it Simpsons. Um, Skate or Die. Skyrim 2, which has one of the best title screens ever. With the song Skate or Die. Die, die, die. <laughs> um, Ski or Die. Uh, Sky Kid, Sky Shark, Slalom, Smash TV, Smurfs, which is a European-only re release. That's why the box art is. I, I, this is the. I think it was only released in Germany, maybe. That's why the title on the box is Die Schmurfins, something like that. Uh, Snake Rattle and Roll, uh, Snake's Revenge, Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular, Snow Brothers, Soccer, uh, Solar Jetman, uh, Solomon's Key, Solstice, Splunker. Spider-Man Return of the Sinister 6. Uh, okay, Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti. Okay, this is a really cool story because I actually wanted to include this originally and it didn't work. And um, it turns out, I was like, oh, now I could put this on here because I decided to put RetroArc on there. But this game doesn't need RetroArc. With the newer version of uh, Hakchi, when you put the ROM on there, it's like, this game requires a patch. Do you want to apply the patch? You say yes. And then it works without RetroArch. So I'm really happy this game, um, well, it would be on here anyway, even if I needed RetroArch to, to put on here. But this is like one of the games that I was most disappointed that didn't work uh, when I originally uh, put on Hakchi on this. But with updates, now you don't even need RetroArch. But of course, if you did put RetroArch on here, it would work regardless. <laughs> uh, so it's a moot point anyway. I'm just glad this game's on here now. Uh, Spot, Spy Hunter, Spy vs. Spy, moving on. The second half of the S's. Actually, yeah, second half of the S's. I know it's going to start with Squoon, because it's such an odd title, Squoon. Uh, Stanley, Search for Dr. Livingston. Uh, Star Force, Star Soldier, Star Trek 25th Anniversary, Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Voyager, Star Wars. That box art looks really skinny. I might need to fix that up a bit. Uh, Star Wars, Star uh, Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back. I was debating on whether or not to put the Japanese version of Star Wars on here, and I just ultimately decided not to. Uh, Starship Hector, Star Tropics, Stealth ATF. I think Star Tropics is one of the games that's built into the system. Um, Stinger, Street Fighter 2010, Strider, Super C, Super Cars. Super Dodgeball, Super Jeopardy, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3. All of these are the originals on the system. Super Pitfall, Super Spike V-Ball, Super Sprint. Oh, one of my favorites as a kid, actually. Uh, Super Spy Hunter, Super Turrican, Super Man, Swamp Thing, Sweet Home. This is the uh, homebrew. This is the translated version of Sweet Home um, with just the Japanese box art here. Swordmaster. Swords and Serpent back. And we still have uh, the Home Pro version. We actually have a physical copy of that homebrew um, of Sweet Home. <laughs> uh, my wife really wanted to. We actually saw it at Play and Trade of all places. I'm sorry, not Play and Trade, uh, Disc Replay. 
uh, TNC Surf Designs, Thrilla Safari, and then the same thing, Wooden Water Rage, Taboo to Sixth Six Sense, which technically isn't a game, but my wife kind of really likes this because she used to have it as a kid. Um, Tag Team Wrestling, Tailspin, Target Renegade, Tecmo Baseball, Tecmo Bowl, all caps for some damn reason. Uh, Tecmo Cup Soccer Game. Tecmo Cup Soccer Game. <laughs> That's such an odd title. Tecmo Cup! It's a soccer game. Um, Tecmo NBA Basketball. Super Tecmo... Or Super... Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo World Cup Soccer. Uh, Tecmo World Wrestling. Yes, they... I, I decided to leave it all as Tecmo because, yeah, they all had Tecmo in the title of the game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then we got Turtles 2, the arcade game. Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. Turtles, uh, Tournament Fighters, um, Tennis, Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Terra Cresta, Tetris, and of course the Superior Tengen Tetris. Uh, I say it's superior just because I like, it's like the arcade version. I think the music in this one might be better, I don't know. I, it, they're like two totally different games, I gotta have both of them. Um, Tetris 2, Thexter. Also, not to mention that this version has two-player modes, and the other one doesn't. Uh, the Nintendo version does not have two-player modes. Sexter, Three Stooges, Thunderbirds, Thundercade, and going back, the second half of the T's. Moving on. Uh, Tiger Heli, Time Lord, Times of Lore, Tiny Toon Adventures, Tiny Toon Adventures 2, Tiny Toon Adventures Cartoon Workshop, Toki, uh, Tokyo Shire Soul Brain. And what this is, is this is actually the Japanese version of Shatterhand, which has completely different sprites. In this game, you're actually some kind of robot. So I thought that was kind of cool, and I decided to, to uh, keep this version as well as Shatterhand on this console. Uh, Tom and Jerry, Tombs and Treasures, Tubin, Top Gun, Top Gun 2, uh, Top Players Tennis, Total Recall, Totally Rad. A Touchdown Fever, Tower of Druaga, which is actually a pretty entertaining game. Uh, in Namco games that they release now, they always have references to this game. But uh, if you didn't know about this game in the U.S., which you most likely wouldn't unless you're familiar with the Japanese releases, because um, this game was not released here. This was only released in Japan. So um, they, they, It's funny that they Namco always has these... Uh, referencing this game even in US games and you know uh, we don't really know what it's about unless you're familiar with it uh, Toxic Crusaders uh, Track and Field Track and Field 2 Treasure Master Trog Trojan Trolls in Crazy Land which I think is a European only release uh, Twin Cobra Twin Eagle Twin B Twin B3 Poco Poco Dai Muay this required um, Retro Arc I know that required Retro Arc you might want to I, is Twin B2, is that Stinger? I, I don't know for 100% for a fact. And I, I'm going to forget to look it up, too. And I'm, I'm, If I mention it now, somebody might leave a comment about it in the comments. Uh, like, where's Twin B2? It must be named something different. Either of that, I've just completely missed it. Let's go UF to UO or whatever. Euphoria of the Saga. Uh, Ultima Ex Exodus, Ultima Quest for the Avatar, Ultima Warriors of Destiny. Ultimate Air Combat, Ultimate Basketball, Ultraman Club, uh, Uncanny X-Men, Uncharted Waters, Uninvited, Untouchables, Urban Champion, Vellus, The Fantastic Soldier, Vegas Dreams, Vice, Project Doom, Vindicators, Volleyball, and going back. Nothing too spectacular in there. <laughs> um, yeah, this W, A, yeah. Wacky Races, Wang, Wagyan Land, which I think is an in, this is might be an English translated version of the game. Uh, Wall Street Kid, Wario's Woods, Wayne Gretzky Hockey, Wayne's World. Oh, if every game needed to be taken off at this one too, it's that it's that bad. Um, WCW World Champion. Oh, that's just saying the same thing twice. Um, Werewolf, The Last Warrior, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White, Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. Man. That family Edition makes me think that this one might have, like, some crude words in it. <laughs> uh, family Edition, Junior Edition, uh, Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego, Where Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Wampum, Widget, Willow, Win, Loser, Draw, Winter Games, Wits. Uh, I, this was, this is kind of, if I'm remembering correctly, this is a lot like Break, uh, Surround on the Atari 2600. Which seemed pretty cool to have on the NES. Uh, Wizardry, Knights of the Diamonds. Wizardry, Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. 
Wizards of Warriors and Wizards of Warriors 3, and we all know that Wizards of Warriors 2 is over, way over by Ironside, and I might change that up one day, I don't know. Um, Wolverine, World Champ, World Games, Wrath of the Black Manta, Wrecking Crew, Worm Journey to the Center of the Earth, uh, WWF, King of the Ring, WWF, WrestleMania, WWF, WrestleMania Challenge, WWF, WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge, lots of WWF. Uh, and we're in the last folder here, and we are coming up on an hour. I think we'll get this to be about an hour. Uh, Xenophobe, Xevious, The Avenger, uh, Zexel, Yonoid, Yoshi, Yoshi's Cookie, Yoshi, I'm uh, sorry, Yoshi, Yoshi Cookie, Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, The. I need to take The off out there. Uh, Yumi Penguin Monogatari. This game works without retro arc, but you get gla uh, graphical glitches in the menus uh, at the bottom of the screen, or at least the status screen or whatever. So with retro arc installed, you've got to put in the command line for this to use retro arc, and then there's no glitching at all, uh, which I'm glad that retro arc fixes that. Um, Zanuck, Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. This is the original ROM. Uh, that was on a system. Zen, Intergalactic Ninja, Zippy Race, Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2. Same thing with that one. Um, the original ROM. And Zombie Nation, and that is it! So, I wonder if you made it to the end of the video. I just wanted to... Since I did this for the Super Nintendo Classic, and there was a lot of interest in that, uh, judging on the number of views and comments, I decided to do the same thing with the NES Classic, since I had just rehacked it, reevaluated. And uh, you know, you know, put on a newer version of Hakchi. Uh, who knows what Hakchi is going to be like in the future? It seems like it's being updated fairly regularly, especially with the NES uh, supporting the NES Classic. And who knows? Maybe a year from now, uh, there'll be a Game Boy uh, uh, Classic or a Nintendo 64 Classic. Uh, honestly, they're going to have to put better hardware in there if they're going to want to do a Nintendo 64 Classic. So I really don't see that happening next year. Uh, but maybe a Game Boy Classic. If they do a Game Boy Classic, I hope to hell it has HDMI output to output it to a television. Because I do not... I really want to play those Game Boy games on a handheld anymore. I just want to play them on a the screen. Uh, now, granted, I could, in fact get another NES Classic or, a, you know, because it's cheaper, NES Classic, when they come out, if they're in, actually in stock, take off all the games and put on the Game Boy games and emulators and stuff. That might be kind of cool. Uh, but um, as for now, let's just end the video. So, thanks for watching. If you're still watching, see y'all next time. Bye.